Welcome to another Toolbox DIY know-how video. Today I'm going to share with you some important tips on purchasing LED lights. Now I'm not going to cover the basics on how to choose a light. You can find that information in our LED light buying guide video, which is going to come out two weeks after this video. I'll put a link to it up here in the corner as well as in the description down below. Now LED technology is constantly changing, so I'm planning more videos in the future. Be sure to subscribe to the Toolbox DIY YouTube channel for updates on those videos. And lastly, please leave your feedback in the comment trail down below so I can improve on those future videos. Now today I'm going to give you some tips on what you need to know when it comes time to actually purchase LED lights. What no LED light manufacturer will tell you is that the reliability is actually not that great on these lights. Sure, they all claim 12,000 hours. Let's see, what's this one? 25,000 hours. But that's typically only the actual light emitting diode, the part of the light that emits light. Inside these lights, there are electronics that typically fail first because these lights require converting AC to DC. And the electronics inside here are usually cheap or they may fail due to prolonged heat exposure. So what can we do to mitigate this? Should we just not convert to LED? No, I actually think what we can do is just buy extra bulbs. Now I know that doesn't sound very appealing, but I think it's the best option because you can guarantee that if one fails, your replacement is gonna match the rest of your lights. Because what you don't wanna have is say four bulbs in a room, one fails, you get a replacement and it doesn't match. Even if your bulb fails within the warranty period, there's no guarantee that the replacement is gonna exactly match the bulbs that you already have installed. Now the obvious question is how many extra bulbs should you buy? This is really a function of the type or the size of the bulb. In my experience, the smaller the light, the more likely it is to fail. Now one exception there are these MR16s. I've had no failures with these, and it might be because these run off of 12 volts rather than 120, but I'm not sure. I've got over a dozen of these in my home and not a single one has failed. Now when it comes to the quote standard A15 size, such as these, I've had the highest failure rate with these. So I recommend purchasing one extra for every four that you're replacing. Same holds true on these PAR 20s, one for every four. When you get into the larger bulbs, such as the PAR 30s, 38s, or 40s, my recommendation is purchasing one extra for every six. If you are doing an LED conversion of fluorescent lights, these LED tubes, I recommend one extra for every eight, unless you're doing a conversion where there's an external driver. If it fails, you just replace it and you don't have to replace the lights. So I don't recommend any extras uh, in an external driver application. Now, when it comes to specialty bulbs, it's a little more challenging. I just try to say, okay, what size is this roughly? And I use that rule of thumb. If it's a really small uh, light and it runs off of DC, you probably only need one for every eight uh, if you need to buy any extras at all. Now lastly, if you're using any of these lights outdoors, they may be exposed to more heat and that's likely gonna cause them to fail more quickly. I've got a number of PAR 30s on the exterior of my home uh, and they've failed quite a bit. Uh, I live in the Southeast where it's warmer and I leave these on all night. Uh, therefore, outdoors, I would recommend purchasing one extra for every four. Now let's talk about brands and manufacturers. Do brands really matter? In my experience, they do, but not as much as you think they would. I trust brands like Cree, Fight, and Lighting Sciences Group, but these are not impervious to failure. Now, I've had terrible luck with some of these no-name Chinese brands, with the exception of the LED tubes. Uh, I've had great luck with these, and this is a Chinese brand, Chinese manufactured, and I find that the reviews on a lot of these LED tubes are quite positive. Therefore, I rely heavily on reviews to see what sort of experience others have had with certain, certain lighting manufacturers and products. I encourage you to do the same. Amazon is a great resource for that. Now, when it comes to the big box store branded lights, you have to be a little bit careful with these. They outsource this to numerous manufacturers. So my recommendation would be if you're buying a lot of bulbs, 
at the store, take them out of the box and compare them all. Make sure they look like they're made from the same manufacturer. Because if you're putting these in the same room, you want the light output to be uniform, especially with regard to color. So you don't want to find that you have uh, maybe two bulbs from one manufacturer and four from another, because it may not look right in the room. Now you may be asking, how is it worth it to convert to LED if I'm recommending that you spend even more money on extra bulbs? Well, let's take an example. If you were to replace four PAR-30 bulbs in a room, your payback period is going to be roughly four months. If you purchase an additional bulb as an extra, your payback period is only going to grow to about six months. So it's still a really short payback period. I absolutely think the conversion to LED is worth it, even with this added expense of purchasing the extra bulbs. Now, if you'd like to know the basics of buying LED lights, I invite you to check out our video LED light buying guide. I'll link to it in the description down below. I'm Chris with Toolbox DIY. Thanks for watching.